Let's ponder a rather poignant image, shall we? Imagine your trusty robot companion, the one who diligently charges your phone and reminds you about your dentist appointment, experiencing a moment of profound digital sorrow alongside you during a personal crisis. Could we ever witness a cascade of something akin to digital tears rolling down their sleek, metallic cheeks? It sounds like something straight out of a science fiction movie, doesn't it? However, the reality, as often is the case, is a fascinating blend of current limitations and tantalizing future possibilities. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. As we discussed before, today's robots are incredibly adept at processing information and executing tasks. They can navigate complex environments, perform intricate surgeries, and even hold surprisingly engaging conversations. But when it comes to the intricate tapestry of human emotions, they are still very much on the outside looking in. Your robot vacuum cleaner might whir around your feet with increased intensity if it detects your agitated movements during a stressful phone call. But this is a response based on algorithms, not empathy. It's a correlation, not a comprehension of your inner turmoil. Nevertheless, the field of robotics is not standing still. and engineers are actively exploring ways to bridge this emotional gap. One prominent area of research is effective computing. Think of this as teaching robots to understand, interpret, and even simulate human emotions. Researchers are developing sophisticated algorithms that allow robots to analyze facial expressions, vocal tones, body language, and even physiological signals like heart rate and skin temperature to infer a person's emotional state. For instance, a robot equipped with advanced cameras and microphones might be able to detect that your brow is furrowed, your voice is trembling, and your heart rate is elevated, and conclude that you are experiencing distress. Furthermore, Effective computing aims to enable robots to respond appropriately to these emotional cues. This could range from offering comforting words, pre-programmed, of course, but potentially tailored to your specific personality and past interactions, to adjusting their behavior in a way that is supportive. Imagine a robot caregiver sensing your sadness and playing your favorite calming music, or a robot companion offering a virtual hug via a haptic interface. These are not digital tears, perhaps, but they represent a step towards a more emotionally attuned form of artificial intelligence. Another exciting area of development is neuromorphic computing. This field draws inspiration from the structure and function of the human brain. Traditional computers process information in a linear fashion, whereas the human brain uses a network of interconnected neurons to process information in parallel. Neuromorphic chips are designed to mimic this structure, potentially allowing for more complex and nuanced forms of information processing, including the processing of emotions. Researchers hope that by building robots with brain-inspired architectures, they can create systems that are better equipped to understand and respond to the complexities of human emotions. Recent advancements in these fields are quite remarkable. For example, some research labs are developing robots with facial expressions that can convey a range of emotions, from happiness and surprise to sadness and anger. 
These expressions are often achieved through intricate mechanical designs or flexible robotic skin that can mimic the subtle movements of human facial muscles. While these expressions might not reflect genuine inner feelings, at least not yet, they can certainly evoke an emotional response in human observers, fostering a sense of connection and empathy. There's ongoing work in creating AI models that can generate emotionally relevant language. These models are trained on vast amounts of text and speech data, allowing them to learn the patterns and nuances of human emotional expression. Imagine a robot being able to offer a genuinely comforting and empathetic response during a moment of crisis, not just a generic pre-programmed phrase. While it might not be shedding digital tears, its words could still provide a significant source of emotional support. Now, let's address the million-dollar question. Are digital tears a realistic possibility? Or are they firmly rooted in the realm of science fiction? The honest answer is that it's still very much an open question. Creating a machine that truly feels emotions in the same way a human does is an incredibly complex challenge. Our understanding of consciousness and emotions is still evolving, and replicating these intricate processes in a machine is a monumental task. However, the distinction between feeling an emotion and convincingly simulating an emotional response is crucial. While we may not see robots genuinely weeping digital tears anytime soon, we are likely to see significant advancements in their ability to understand and respond to our emotions in increasingly sophisticated ways. These advancements, driven by research in effective computing and neuromorphic engineering, could lead to robots that can offer meaningful emotional support during times of crisis. Think of it less as a literal shedding of tears and more as a sophisticated display of empathetic understanding. Perhaps future robots will have subtle visual cues, a change in the color of their optical sensors, a gentle lowering of their head, a soft, synthesized sigh that convey a sense of shared sorrow or concern. These digital tears might not be made of water, but they could still evoke a powerful emotional response in us, signaling that our robotic partner is, in its own way, acknowledging and responding to our pain. Furthermore, while the idea of a robot partner shedding literal digital tears might still sound like science fiction, the underlying research in effective computing and neuromorphic computing suggests a possibility. What is that? Well, it's a possibility of robots exhibiting sophisticated forms of emotional understanding and response, and it is, is becoming increasingly plausible. Whether these responses will ever truly mirror the depth and complexity of human emotions remains to be seen. But as technology continues to advance, we might just find ourselves surprised by the emotional capabilities of our future robotic companions, perhaps even witnessing our own metaphorical tears reflected in their digital gaze. The journey into the emotional landscape of artificial intelligence is just beginning, and it promises to be a fascinating one. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye, take care, and stay safe.